Meghan recalls the surreal day the Queen helped her pick out her wedding tiara at Buckingham Palace, and describes her stunning 1930s choice as perfect and timeless. Meghan has recalled the surreal day the Queen helped her pick out her wedding tiara at Buckingham Palace. The Duchess of Sussex, 37, said the Queen Mary Diamond Bando was the perfect choice, describing how she wanted her bridal look to be incredibly timeless yet still modern. She spoke about picking out the tiara in a special recording for a new exhibition at Windsor Castle, where the tiara is on display alongside her stunning Givenchy wedding gown. Meghan also revealed Prince Harry, 34, accompanied her to Buckingham Palace to pick out the tiara, although her now husband admitted I shouldn't have really been there. The Duchess said, when it came to the tiara on the day, I was very fortunate to be able to choose this gorgeous Art Deco-style bandeau tiara. Harry and I had gone to Buckingham Palace to meet with Her Majesty the Queen to select one of the options that were there, which was an incredibly surreal day as you can imagine. And that was the one that, I think, as we tried them on, stood out. Speaking about the tiara she eventually chose, she continued, I think it was just perfect because it was so clean and simple, and also to that point, an extension of what Claire and I had been trying to do with the dress which was have something that could be so incredibly timeless but still feel modern. Harry said that without question the Queen Mary diamond bando the one that looked best on Meghan. I tease every girl's dream to be able to try on a tiara. Funnily enough, it was, the one that suited the best, the one that looked the best on you without question. I shouldn't have really even been there, but such an incredible loan by my grandmother, it was very sweet. Queen Mary's diamond bandeau went on display at Windsor Castle today as part of the A Royal Wedding, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex exhibition, which will run into January. In a recording made for visitors to the exhibition, the Duke and Duchess also discussed the amount of planning that went into the May 19th wedding. Meghan said, A great level of detail went into the planning of our wedding day. We knew how large the scale of the event would be, so in making choices that were really personal and meaningful, it could make the whole experience feel intimate. Harry added, I chose the frock coat as a uniform, with permission from my grandmother because I think it's one of the smartest household cavalry uniforms. It's one of my favorites, and I was very fortunate to be able to wear that on the day. Prince George and Princess Charlotte's royal wedding outfits go on display today as part of the new Windsor Castle exhibition, along with a replica of Harry's frock coat. Members of the public will be given a closer view of George's mini version of the coat, created by Seville Row Taylor's Dejan Skinner which has his initials embroidered in gold thread on the shoulder straps. Meanwhile Charlotte's bridesmaid dress by Givenchy features short puff sleeves and a double silk ribbon at the waist, tied in a bow at the back. Her white leather shoes were made by Aquazura and embroidered with her initials and the wedding date. A replica of the Duchess of Sussex's bridal bouquet made from artificial flowers has been created for the exhibition.